Hello, everyone. My name is Rihal Mao. I'm honored to be here to present our work on behalf of all my co-authors. Transfer attacks has been harassing deep neural networks for a long time. The attacker needs to prepare a surrogate model on the seed images and perform a white box attack on surrogate model to get adversarial examples that can deceive the surrogate model. They hope that the adversarial examples are able to transfer to the unseen targets so that these unseen targets are deceived as well. Therefore, transfer attacks allow the attackers to perform adversarial attacks in black box scenarios. In a real world transfer attack, the targets are usually the cloud models, such as Amazon, Baidu, Ali, and Google. Transfer attack has attracted intensive research in recent years, leading to rich conclusions in the lab environment. However, there is no systematic study in the real world. The question is, why can't we simply generalize the lab conclusions to the real world? This is because there are many differences between the lab targets and the real targets. First, the real model is far more complex because they are required to process much more complex tasks. Second, the real model is better trained with larger data sets and more resources, as, uh, which is not affordable by many local targets. Third, the real input is high resolution, but many previous lab conclusions are drawn from low resolution images, such as Cypher, which is only 32 by 32. In addition, the real model admits different shapes, su suggesting that the different pre-processing techniques, which are not transparent to the attackers, are applied. Last, the real output structure is more ambiguous. For example, the left image, which is taken from MINIST, is predicted to be text, number, or symbol, but actually we are expecting a prediction of digit zero. In addition, the red image, which is taken from ImageNet, uh, is predicted to be sports, sphere, and baseball. However, the ground truth baseball does not get the highest score. We perform a systematic evaluation on the transfer, on the transfer attacks in the real settings. We identify the ambiguity in the success criteria of a real transfer attack and propose corresponding solutions. Based on these te techniques, we explore possible factors that can affect a real transfer attack using statistically sufficient settings. Our evaluation goes like this. This is our pipeline of a real transfer attack. The only difference between a real transfer attack and a lab transfer attack is that the target model is not a cloud model, and the response contains multiple levels of ambiguities. More specifically, there are two ambiguities in the success criteria. The first one is called class inconsistency. There are three types of inconsistent inconsistencies. First, the prediction could be more specific than the ground truth label. For example, an image could be predicted as gun or knife, compared to the ground truth label weapon. Second, it could be more general than the ground truth label. For example, as we have already seen before, sports for ground truth label baseball. Third, it could use different names to describe the same object, such as using different languages. The other problem is called multiple prediction problem. For example, here is an exam uh, here is a image containing a computer, a cat, and a keyboard. The local ground truth label is keyboard, but the cloud predicts all of them. So they are not mistakes, but prevents us from uh, applying the traditional metrics. To address the class inconsistency problem, we manually build an equivalence dictionary for each platform from the predictions of seed images. We use the prediction of seed images to avoid, to avoid potential uh, bias introduced by adversarial examples. For example, for the ground truth label engine, we use the uh, equivalent labels containing motor, motorcycle, engine, etc. This labels in the dictionary is considered equivalent to the ground truth label engine. To address the multiple prediction problem, we use the cutting threshold method. Our, our principle is that the cutting threshold should filter out the most predictions while maintaining the accuracy on seed images. Predictions with a score smaller than threshold are excluded from the evaluation. 
Therefore, based on these uh, techniques, we modify the evaluation matrix as follows. If none of the, of the equivalent labels of the ground truth label is in the prediction, then we call the A is misclassified. In addition, if any of the equivalent labels of the ground truth label is in the prediction, then we call this A matched. So the misclassification rate is an extension of the traditional uh, transfer metrics for untargeted tra transfer attack, but and the matching rate is an extension of transfer rates in a targeted transfer attack. In the paper, we also measured the transfer rates in gender classification tasks, but for variety in the parameterization, we omit these results. These results are consistent to the object classification tasks. In addition, we also ex omit the experimental details here and only present the conclusions. The first uh, considered factor is the platform robustness. We found that the cloud models are not unbreakable on the transfer attacks, even if the attacks that is up there attack uniform at random. We found that all transfer rates are significantly positive, which is different to the lab conclusions of Liu, etc. that the targeted, targeted attacks almost never transfer. In addition, we also find that uh, targets with higher accuracy are possible to be less robust to transfer attacks. All these facts suggest that transfer attack in the real world cannot be overlooked, as they have not non-trivial success rates, but ignorable marginal costs. The second property, uh, the second factor we consider is pre-training. We found that pre-training improves the matching rate, but decreases the mass classification rate. This actually contradicts the common notion of model similarity, as if we assume pre-training improves similarity, then transfer rates should all be improved. Otherwise, they should all be decreased. Similar phenomena is observed for other factors as well, so this is not a coincidence. This suggests that defining similarity for models is, is extremely difficult. The third factor we consider is adversarial algorithms, which, which is also the common focus of previous studies. We found that strong algorithms such as CW2 can have weak transferability. In contrast, the weak algorithm FGSM achieves the best transfer rates. This is consistent to the finding of sewage central in the lab environments. We also found that iterative algorithms transfer less than their single step counterparts. This suggests that probably most, the most transferable information is a gradient with regard to the seed image as other attacks uh, use implies other information but, also, uh, but still get worse transfer rates. We also consider that the transfer as uh, a surrogate complexity as we are in the context of neural networks, we define the sur uh, surrogate complexity by the depth of neural networks. We found that this complexity have, has a non-monotonic effect on the transferability. A surrogate with a suitable depth outperforms both simpler and more complex counterparts. This suggests that probably there are optimal complexity for surrogates, which, which should depend on the task and the target. We also discussed the architecture. We found that all surrogate architectures have similar transfer rates. This is different to the sewage central's conclusion that VGG transfers well, while other architectures almost don't transfer. This suggests that in a real transfer attack, no preference for surrogate architecture is, uh, it exists. We also discussed the sample level properties as a factor. The first property we, did, we discussed is the measure norm of the perturbation. We found that L2 norm shows strong correlation to the transfer rates, while L infinity norm roughly has no correlation to the transfer rates if we ex ex extract the effect of L2 norm. We also found that increasing L2 norm while keeping L infinity norm fixed can greatly increase the transferability, while the upset is generally not true. This suggests that transfer attacks prefer the dense perturbations than the sparse ones. We consider confi adversarial confidence as well. Uh, two different definitions of, of adversarial confidence are considered. 
The first one is called scaling sensitive kappa, which is exactly the same kappa value defined in the CW attack. We also consider scaling insensitive kappa, which is defined to be the indifferent uh, to be the difference in the soft mass output between the most likely class and the second most likely class. The experimental results show that the correlation between SSK and the transfer rate is not significant. On the contrary, SLK shows a very significant correlation to transfer rates. In addition, we also observe that increasing SSK for a CW attack does not increase the transfer rates in many cases, which is upset to the original paper, which concludes that in the lab environments, this should increase the transfer rates. Therefore, we conclude that in a real transfer attack, SLK is a better in instrument for transferability than SSK. We also consider the intrinsic classic hardness. We found that adversarial examples generated from seed images that are misclassified have transfers better than AIS generated from correctly classified seed images. The experiments show that for all the adversarial algorithms and all the targets, the former transfers at least as good as the latter. And in many cases, the former has much larger transfer rates than the latter. This suggests that seed images that are harder to classify are easier for transfer attacks. There are more observations, experimental results, and analysis in the paper. We strongly recommend the audience to refer to our paper for more details. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>